Hi, this is Topher with Big Commerce. I want to show you a really cool tool today that can really help with local development, and it's called ngrok. When you develop locally, you often have a URL that looks something like this, with it ends in .local or .dev. The problem with this is that it can't be accessed from outside your firewall. It's just on your machine, and this can make it difficult to test things like webhooks or even have someone else just look at it. Ngrok can give you a temporary tunnel through your firewall so that you can do things like test those webhooks and have other people look at it. Now, I've had a little bit of trouble setting it up manually in the past, but Local WP makes it super, super simple, and I wanted to show you how to use that. So here's the admin panel for Local WP, and right at the bottom is a Live Link Enable button. And if you click that, you'll see now I have a web address that ends in ngrok.io. And if I click it, it loads the website. And you can see that my web address is that ngrok.io. So now anyone out in the world could load this. My SaaS product could access it with webhooks like BigCommerce or anything. Now there are a couple of gotchas. I want to point out that on this site, I'm running an SSL server. It's self-signed, so there's a warning, but it's still running SSL. But with this domain, it's not because the certificate is not signed for this domain. One other gotcha, if you go to the pricing section and look at the free area, you'll see that you only get one NGROC process, so you couldn't fire this up on a second site. And you only get 40 connections per minute. Now, an uncompressed WordPress site can serve quite a few files per request, all the CSS files, all the JavaScript files. So you might get 20 connections in one page load. You reload again and you've run out of connections for your minute and you have to wait for another minute. This isn't really a problem if you're prepared for it and you know how to use it. Other options are to pay and get more connections. When you're done with it, you should disable it so that people can't be accessing your site when you're not expecting them to. And Grok is super useful. I'd love to hear about how you're using it in the comments below. Also, if you found this video useful, click that thumbs up right there and let us know.